was trying to figure out where I was going to go to college and loved playing soccer. And so the coach at Belmont was actually from Washington State, which is where I was from. It was the second year that Belmont was in the NCAA Division I, and she was just looking to field a team. I like to tell a story about how I remember walking outside of my dorm my freshman year and stu other students on campus sort of, hi, how are you, waving at me. And I had no clue on who these people were and thinking like, you don't know who I am. Why are you waving at me? But there's something really special about this place. And 19 years later, I, I don't think that Belmont has lost that. Mr. Strickland and, and Betty Wiseman were, were two people that, that really poured in to, to me individually, and I can't speak for other, for other athletes, but I, I felt that my experience with them and how they poured into me, that's something that I wanted to give back. I'm a pay it forward sort of person, and, and I love to pour into student athletes. I love to pour into people and, and to see what I can get out of them. I, I, it's a bit of a challenge. I'm, a, I'm pretty competitive myself and I like to challenge myself, but one of those challenges is just pouring into these students as, as 17 and 18 year olds and seeing what I can get out of them by the time that they're 22 or 23 years old and ready to sort of take those next steps into the real world. I love seeing alumni come back through our doors. We've started to, to take pictures of them and post it on Instagram and, and on Twitter and so, and so that our student athletes can see and recognize when other alumni are coming back through the door that we still care. We, we cared when they walked in the door when they were a prospect and we still care today. I'm Renee Schultz, I'm a Belmont Bruin and I'm invested in you.